All right, what's up, everybody? So it is Saturday. It's a little bit 12 afternoon. Um, yeah, I didn't vlog at all yesterday because it was just pretty much all my batteries were dead, my equipment. I needed to recharge everything. And we were pretty much just traveling, and now we're in the city of Oslo. It's a really beautiful place, and that is the Opera House right over there. And it looks amazing. It's crazy that the architecture of this building right now is going right into the water. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go over there. We're gonna walk out it. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear me because it's really windy out here. But all right, let's get to it. Do it. Yeah, weather isn't too bad today at all. But um, yeah, it's really sunny. It's a lot better than it was last night because it was just pouring rain and whatnot. But yeah, like I said, we got into the city yesterday. Didn't do too much. We just got booked a hostel for two nights and then went out to dinner. And then went to this place. What was the name of that place again? I forget, but yeah. it was pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, it was a really stories. nice. Yeah, like three stories. It's like a different atmosphere each story we were at. It was just a really cool place to hang out. So we hung out there to about 2.30ish in the morning. Got back and now we're just out about exploring the city. Tell you, she's not with us right now. Uh, I think she's not, hungover. Yeah, she's probably hungover. Um, but she'll join us later on today. So right now we're just about out and about exploring the city. So yeah. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, it's just like a I get like an eerie feeling just walking on this thing. I swear. It's like I don't know, it's interesting. I never walked on something like this in my life. Yeah. I wonder how much it costs to see the build this thing. Kind of want to run over there to that water. Like, I don't even know where this thing ends at, and then it just kind of goes into the water and just like, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy though. All right, so I'm in the middle. Man, it is windy out here. But I'm in the middle of just shooting and whatnot, and then Eric just told me to look at these guys over here. It almost look like the freaking shirt that's about to jump in this water. Mind you, it's pretty dang cold out here, so uh, if they're actually about to do that, they're crazy. But hey, it's not my problem. I will say, I don't know the full history behind this building, but one thing I do know, the architecture on this thing is just absolutely insane. Like, I don't think there's a place, you can even walk on a roof up there, which you're probably gonna do in a few minutes. But uh, yeah, we're just getting a few more shots. I'm gonna try to get some B-roll, and then I'm gonna check out this odd sculpture over here as well. I think it's like, just floating on top of the water, I'm not sure. Eric, how's your day going so far? Pretty good. Excited to finally explore Oslo a little bit. Yeah, all right. You can see that uh, Yeah, I see it. I'm not gonna lie, like I said, I've been enjoying this trip so far, all through the wilderness and whatnot, but um, I don't know, something about the city, man. That's why I just love about, I don't know, something about it, I just thrive in it. I guess I'm more of a city guy, but you know, I don't know, I love it. It's freaking awesome. But like I said, I can't figure out what in the world this structure is over here. Look at that thing, it's just like a glass, almost like a glass mansion. That's probably the best way I can put it. Yeah, it does look like a shit, but I'm not sure what it's there for or what's the significance of it is, but it looks cool though. What do you say there? I do want to go up to the top of there though. Let's do it. Should we do some hardcore parkour while we at it? It's my hardcore parkour for the day. <laughs> I know, just, just ate it. <laughs> oh, oh man, I couldn't imagine just walking up here during the winter when this entire thing is just iced. That'd be bad. Actually, you know what? What if people like literally just ice skate on this thing and then if the lake fro froze over enough, could just go right down there? Like, that's a possibility. I think you can go inside there, though.
you know, it's crazy to think about, too, because, like, in less than, like, 72 hours, I'll be back in the States. It's crazy to think about that. But uh, this definitely won't be my last time in Norway. I love this place. But I guess two things that um, that will probably keep me, I guess, main two gripes about the place. It's just, uh, one, how cold it gets here. Like, if you all know me by now, I'm more of a summer guy. It's just the environment I thrive in. And I can barely stand Wisconsin's winters as it is. So, and Antonio, she was telling me how it pretty much just stays negative 30 degrees Celsius pretty much all year, um, all throughout the winter. And that is something I can't handle. That's, that's a little too much for me. So, that's probably the first reason. Second reason, I guess it's really not a gripe. It's just based on my financial situation, but it is insanely expensive to live here. And I mean insanely. Like, I thought Australia was expensive. Like, that, Norway puts Australia to shame. And <laughs> how expensive it is to live here. Like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Would you agree with that? Yeah, no, it's crazy. Food, like, I just paid six bucks for a donut. A donut, people. You literally get a donut for like 50 cents back in the States. No, it was all right. Not worth six bucks though. Like, yeah. Like a prime example. Last night, we went out, got something to eat, and it was just a uh, just a burger with fries. Usually, it costs around like twelve, maybe fourteen bucks at the most in the states. It cost twenty four dollars, and the fries were extra. Twenty four dollars for a burger plus fries. I did the fries like five bucks. Like that's insane. Woo, man, it's windy out here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this wind is getting, I really hope you guys can hear me because this is getting insane right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is bad. All right. I don't know what just happened there, but to be honest though, that is just like a taste of what we experienced on Wednesday. like. That was something else. You would have thought a tornado was happening, honestly. Oh. A nice little viewpoint up here. I said to myself, I love a good vantage spot. And this is a good vantage spot right now. All right, so we're doing getting a few shots, and I was gonna look inside this place because I don't even know if we're actually allowed to go in there. I think we are, but this is a nice view right here. What's going on in there? Hey people, don't mind me, I'm just filming you, that's all. Wow. Looks like somebody's singing down there or speaking. Looks like a public event or something like that, I'm not sure, but this place looks awesome. I really love the architecture of this building. But uh, yeah, it's very fancy, I like it. One thing I've noticed about Oslo too, this the city, there's not a lot of like really, really tall buildings. That's one thing I've noticed. Still a beautiful city nonetheless though. All right, so we walked a little bit further from the um, opera house, and now we're at this one um, sculpture. That's the best way I can put it. It's called Salt, a Normatic Art Project. It's really cool because it's like this giant wooden structure, but it has all these shirts attached to it. It's just flapping in the wind. So I'll show you guys that right now. It's pretty dang cool. I'm not sure what the uh, significance of this is, but this looks really awesome. So. See if I can get some like cool B-roll shots of this. Just walk through this thing. I wonder if somebody donated, like people just donated these shirts or whatnot, but I'm not sure. 
I will say though, it's a pretty cool spot for a jog or like um, just uh, get some shots and whatnot. But yeah, uh, well you know, it's my own jog right there. All right, so we're gonna uh, get a few more shots, walk around a little bit more, and then meet up with Tony as soon. But in the meantime, I'm gonna let my phone charge a little bit and I'll get right back to you guys soon, so. All right, so we're back at it again, and look who decided to join us. Hey, guys. <laughs> she, wouldn't, she won't admit it, but she's probably hung over from the night before. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Um, so yeah, now we're going to, where are we going again? which is a park with a lot of statues of naked people. It's very famous. Sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, they have like a huge monument. And then after that, we're probably going to get something to eat and... I don't know. Wow, alright, yeah. somebody's in a hurry. <laughs> That's kind of rude. No, he just bumped into it because he was finding the stuff. But yeah, after that then we'll figure it out from there what we're going to do today. But uh... It's kind, of, it's kind of sad to say because this is pretty much Eric's last full day here in yeah. Norway. Sad. Very sad. It's crazy this trip's coming to an end pretty damn soon. But Tonya has been like an uh, amazing tour guy. Just an just amazing person in general. It's cool like that. Thank you, Tyler. No problem. No, I actually mean that seriously. I appreciate it. You guys have been in Madison by the uh, by Camp Randall at football stadium. Mm -hmm. And it's made of entire, like entirely football. <laughs> Oh. We call it the penis statue. <laughs> this is the monolite though. Yeah. Like actual footballs or like like clay? Like cement. What's the, hang on, what was the actual name of this botanical gardens again? The Gelands Parken. I swear I can never pronounce these. It'll take a long time for me to like actually not butcher them. But this is a really nice place. Very interesting. It's a certain thing going on here with these statues. It's a really beautiful waterfall up here too. Very interesting statues that we're walking by as well. All right, so we're coming up on yet another interesting t uh, statue here. What do you think this was about? I don't know. Tonya. Statue? Yeah, it symbolized. I'm sorry, I haven't read enough. Oh. I don't know. Not even Tonya knows. Well, in my opinion, it symbolizes love. Between all kinds of people. Yeah. Naked love. Sticking together. Let's see that.
I will say, these are some of the most intricate statues I have seen in a long time. They're really interesting, though. I will say that. But, um, yeah, we're going to keep walking around and whatnot. And then probably going to stop at lunch soon. And we are back at it. All right, so it's the next day. Um, sorry, it's kind of like, I didn't finish the vlog from yesterday because I was just spending time with Eric and Antonia and come to a realization that it is Eric's very last day here. Sad. It's very sad. So I didn't want to vlog you. I just wanted to actually, you know, spend quality time with them. Like things like that, we really don't need to be vlogged. Those are like special moments for me. So that's why I really didn't finish the vlog yesterday. But pick back up. Right now we're in the Botanical Gardens. Just checking things out, looking at all these different species of plants that I've never seen before in my life. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna, after that, meet up with Tonya and then drop Eric off at Central Station. And it's, yeah, it's really sad. It'll be my last time seeing both of them. It's sad. Mm -hmm. It's been a fun week, though. It's it's done a lot of stuff. It's been the same. Mountains, mm. get to see the city. All in all, it's pretty good. And honestly, the weather was crazy, but it made for some pretty cool experiences. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen the weather. Yeah. Known to man. And it's spandable. Now it's like a beautiful fall day. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's been good. Yeah, honestly, I think one thing that stood out to me the most is the weather here. It's just, it's so bipolar. It's just insane. Like, I remember, what was that, Wednesday, when we woke up, it was extremely windy. Yeah. And then by the time we got back to Tonya's cabin, we woke up the next day, and there's snow on the ground. I'm like, what in the world is going on right now? And then when we got back down from the mountain, not even an hour later, you would have thought it was like a normal spring day. It's, it's crazy. Gotta love it though. All right, so just stopped and got something to eat. And now we are looking for these huge lily pads. But in the meantime, just found these huge statues. Um, what are these called again? I see them all the time. Zo carps, like the the fruit of the maple. Yeah. So you just fall off the trees all the time. Yeah. It's just like giant babies on them. Pretty cool. All right, so we haven't found a map in a while, and we kind of don't know where the lily pads are. But we found a few, but they're not as big as we expected. So I'm not sure if that's it or not, but. Still enjoying my time and whatnot, so gotta just walking around, getting more views, and uh, wait until uh, get up out of here. Okay, cool. All right, we found it. We're gonna, can we get in through here? I don't know. I'm gonna make a quick stop in this building right quick. Just trying to figure out how to get in here. This 
doesn't have a handle on it. All right, mission abort. We're not doing it anymore. It's not fun. <laughs> Like we just don't know how to open it. Yeah, I think we're just too stupid to figure it out. Or something. I don't know. It's one of those days. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, so these lily pads are a lot bigger. Still don't think it can hold actual size human being in here though. Sorry, oh, sorry for the fog, people, but uh, it's a little, a little humid in here. Got some on the ground. That was literally just from wind. Doesn't look too bad, but um, trust me, it was a lot worse. For some reason, there's this cat just like chilling on the sidewalk over here. He doesn't look amused. <laughs> All right, and that pretty much completes our botanical garden tour ish. It's fun though. Enjoy this place. Now we're gonna head back. Still got a little bit of time before we meet up with Tonya, but uh, we'll figure it out. Sorry if this vlog seems a little choppy and whatnot, because I'm ended it abruptly. So I've just been hanging, uh, was hanging with Tonya and Eric. This is the next day and whatnot. So Tonya, she's officially going back home, and Eric has, has as well. So that pretty much marks the end of my uh, Norway adventure. It's been crazy. It's been a crazy week so far, and uh, man, I can't tell you how much I needed this, because this uh, this week has definitely. Just, uh, just opened my eyes to a lot of things, made me realize a lot more things that I didn't realize before. And it was just a really, literally, quite literally a breath of fresh air and whatnot. So this has been an amazing adventure, amazing time. Sad that it's coming to an end, but you know, I gotta get back home, get back to a routine and start saving up again so I can have more adventures like that. So yeah, with that being said and everything, that's pretty much it. Um, can't wait to see what Eric uh, has in store for his photos and whatnot. Super nice meeting you, man. You're freaking awesome. I can't wait to see, visit you out in California and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see your uh, photos and everything. Uh, Tony, uh, thank you so much for like just organizing all this and like just hosting us for the week. Literally, I wouldn't even seen or done half the things <laughs> that we've done if I was by myself. So thank you so much for that and just showing us a good time. I can't thank you enough for that. And yeah, I'm like. Huh, it's crazy it's come to an end, but um, I know I know I'll definitely be back here in the future when I'm a lot more financially stable as well, because uh, I'm always not cheap. But you guys already know that. So uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you all for watching this little, uh, this series, little mini series, if you whatnot, and uh, see you all in the next one. All right, see you guys. Alright, so this is a little bonus, I guess, to the vlog. I'm not sure if I'll put this in there or not, but I can't be too loud. It's like 3 in the morning, and um, I'm in Copenhagen, Denmark right now. And the thing is, I have a, I think about a 17-hour layover. And I was going to go to the city because I've never been there before, 
So I started doing a little research. It seems like a really nice place to go, but it's very, very expensive, just like Norway. And I already spent, I don't even want to know how much I spent. Well, I do know how much. It's just a lot. And I really don't want to keep spending money. So I decided to stay in the airport, but I'm attempting to stay up the entire night and day to my flight so I can sleep on my flight back home. All I know is my sleep schedule is going to be just absolutely terrible for the next few days. It's going to be so freaking jet lagged. But in the meantime, I'm just kind of like chilling here and people are sleeping and whatnot. And yeah, I'll let you guys look. But, oh, it's a really nice airport though, I will say that. So yeah, I'm just going to see if I can stay up for the rest of the day. Hopefully you guys can hear me and whatnot. So yeah. You know, you know you gotta move